Hello doctors, welcome to the image revision sessions for the upcoming FMG July 2023 exam. This is Dr. Auraraj. Now let's try to nicely revise all the IEL images. Now for the main exam, you're going to remember three main scientists. They are going to be number one, Louis Pasteur, number two, James Lynn, and number three, John Snow. We have been studying since our sixth grade that father of microbiology is going to be Louis Pasteur, but we forgot it. That's okay. Until July 30th, remember, father of microbiology is Louis Pasteur and he discovered the vaccines for cholera, anthrax and rabies. Comes to the mnemonic C-A-R. Good. And he was the first person to also discover pasteurization. James Lynn was a doctor who discovered the treatment for scurvy. His patients who were sailors suffered from scurvy and then he found out that that was due to vitamin C deficiency and along with citrus fruit he helped to cure them and he was the first person to talk about what the naval hygiene. We have John Snow. Our John Snow he is the father of epidemiology. Good. Next, talk about the iceberg phenomenon. In iceberg phenomenon, remember visible cases are actually diagnosed by the clinicians, but whereas the hidden cases, they are going to be uh, asymptomatic ones, pre-symptomatic or undiagnosed patients. For the iceberg phenomenon comes to the mnemonic RTM. Remember R for rabies, T for tetanus and measles. These are the diseases which do not follow the iceberg phenomena. Now for the main exam, you're also going to remember the epidemiological triad. Very important. That comes with agent, host and environment. I repeat, agent, host and environment and if time is going to be added then it becomes what epidemiological triangle epidemiological triangle are very important to be remembered for the exam next look at the logo here we can classically see a woman and a child this logo is going to be what integrated child development services now this comes under ministry of women and child development good now the second logo we can see that the children are holding uh, plates which is the meals uh, it talks about what the midday meal program it comes under the ministry of human resource and development main point to be remembered is going to be they're going to have one third of calories and one second of the proteins now look at all these three images the first image is going to be what infantometer the first image is going to be infanto meter used to measure infants of one years of age now this tape is called as very important tape that is called as what shaki tape so you are going to actually tie this tape on the mid arm of the child and you are going to measure it if it is above 13 it means that the child is healthy if it comes to 12 it means the child is actually moderately malnourished moderately the child is malnourished and if it shows a red color, it means that the value is less than 12. It means that the child is actually severely malnourished, severely, severely malnourished, severely malnourished, very important. Next, and this image is going to be what? Salter sling. And look at the logo here. We have uh, so many people holding their hands together in this logo. Let's see what it says about. This logo is actually the logo of National Disaster Management Authority headed by our Prime Minister of India uh, coming under the Ministry of Home Affairs. Now, during a disaster, what happens is that we first try to respond immediately. Response. And then after response, you're going to do the recovery. And then you're going to prepare ahead so that nothing happens like this. And if so, unluckily, if it happens, you're going to be very much prepared. And at last, you're going to go for mitigation. Mitigation, it means to avoid serious uh, effects. Just in case we're having similar disaster, you're going to avoid all the serious uh, dangerous things which is going to be, which has happened in the previous disaster. That is called as what? Mitigation. Good. Now, let's talk about the Suraksha Clinic kit for STI, sexually transmitted infections. There are going to be seven kits. Now the first kit is going to be gray kit, green kit, white, blue, red, yellow, and black. Let's simplify it. The gray kit, 
usually old people have gray hairs so remember old people usually having urethral discharge and cervicitis green kit is usually given for vaginitis and white kit is for genital ulcers for patients who are non herpetic non herpetic and now kit 4 is going to be blue color that is also for genital ulcers but for patients who are non herpetic but are allergic to patients allergic to penicillin good now uh, red kit is used for patients who are having genital ulcers and they are going to be herpetics yellow kit is usually given for patients who are going to be having lower abdominal pain very easy to remember low for lower and then the kit number 7 black kit is given for scrotal swelling let's try to quickly revise here first is going to be what gray kit this is given for urethral discharge and cervicitis green kit this is given for vaginitis yellow kit this is given for lower abdominal pain black kit this is given for scrotal swelling and the red kit is given for genital ulcers herpetic and the blue kit is given for genital ulcers patients who are allergic to penicillins good now we have other important logos to be remember this logo is going to be what unicef united nations international children's emergency fund where is the headquarters that is going to be in new york city new york good and this logo is a very well known and a famous logo nothing but our who world health organization where is the headquarters that is going to be located in geneva or geneva and remember uh, april 7th is the world health day april 7th is the world health day and the logo here is going to be uno united nations organizations having headquarters again in new york great now knowing mosquitoes is going to be very very important for the main exam let's try to revise them and look at the images properly the image here the first image this mosquito is sitting at the angle of 45 degree and that is going to be our anopheles very good anopheles and um, this mosquito is having tiger spots then this is going to be classically our aedes very easy to remember next this is going to be culex and the this one is going to be mansonia i hope you can remember all these four mosquitoes images until the exam now let's talk about the important programs first is going to be janani shishu suraksha karyakram in this program remember the female pregnant female is actually going to have free diagnosis she is going to have free drugs given free delivery free diet and also free blood transfusions if required now under this program we have newborn care corners newborn stabilization units and also home based newborn care look at this logo here very important logo that is going to be pradhan mantri surakshit matritva now every ninth of every month when for pregnant female is going to there she is going to have free antenatal checkup of every month coming under ministry of health and family welfare look at this logo here this logo talks about the national programs for cancers and diabetes and also cardiovascular diseases along with stroke this program talks about the health promotion screenings referrals and also management of non communicable diseases great now let's talk about the vaccine viral monitoring for this we have to look at the inner circle if the inner circle is lighter than the outer circle then you are going to use the vaccine if it is darker than the outer circle you are going to discard them so therefore the first two vaccines can be used whereas these two cannot be used great now let's talk about the contraceptions the first image is going to talk about today today it's going to contain what nonoxin on 9 very important for the main exam it got the pearl index of 9 to 20 very good second this is going to be female condoms yes it is not commonly used because it's having a pearl index of 15 to 21 and it is also slightly expensive than the male condoms great and the third image is going to be what mirina it is an hormonal iucd containing what levonor just Tom I hope this helped you to quickly revise all the important images of PSM if you liked it give a subscribe to this channel and wish you guys all the best for the main exam and I'm pretty sure that each and every one of you is going to pass the exam with the flying colors see you until the next video cheers